This is an interesting week for sneakers. The most shoes drop on Thursday, but the most expensive shoe drops on Saturday, but then the hottest shoe of the weekend is only for the ladies. I don't know what's happening. Let's start the show. <laughs> Welcome to The Heat Check, I'm your host Jacques Slade and this week starts with one of Nike's hottest shoes right now, the Nike Epic React Flyknit. Though these are technically running shoes, a ton of people have been rocking these as lifestyle silhouettes, which makes sense because the shoes are really comfortable. Finish 9 will have a very limited number of pairs in the pure platinum colorway that's dropping on Thursday for both men and women and you can grab those for $150. If you prefer air over foam, the Nike Air Max 270 is dropping in a few colorways as well. I've been wearing my pairs quite a bit and you can without a doubt feel that 32 millimeter air unit at the heel. I believe I've mentioned this to you guys before, but it is the biggest lifestyle unit Nike has ever made. Look for those for both men and women for 150. Keeping on the Nike train, the Vapor Max Find It 2 is dropping in two colorways. Those will cost you 190. And for those wondering about the two part, it is mostly about a change to the upper and not the actual technology that's in the shoe. Also dropping on Thursday is the Nike Air Hirachi Drift. I've been curious about this model, but I haven't jumped the gun quite yet. They look really comfortable and you can grab one of the five colorways that are dropping for 130 over at finish line. The NBA playoffs, they're in full swing and one of the cooler non-LeBron Watch 15s are dropping. This pair adds bright crimson to the mix and it looks great mixed with that battle nip. I think this is one of my favorite looks from the line that isn't a special edition. Look for those that cost you 185. On the workout side of things, Reebok is still in the mix with the Reebok Flex Weave Fusion. Part lifestyle, part runner, part workout shoe. You can grab those for 120 in one of the five new colorways for men or the three for women. Puma, which has been on the come up, brings us a fresh dose of Fenty for the ladies with a few colorways of the Fenty Avid. Definitely not a shoe that I would rock, but I know the ladies love the Fenty line. Those will cost you 130 for one of those three colorways. And rounding out Thursday's drop is the Adidas Atric. This is a very unique, or should I say crazy looking shoe, but I think I like it. I haven't seen it in hand yet, but something about this design really jumps out to me. You can grab those for 160. For Friday, Nike Basketball is dropping the PG2. I've heard this one called a few different names, but the one that seems to be sticking is Taurus. Uh, the color is accented with solar red. You can grab those for $110 over at Finish Line. If weightlifting is life with you, the Nike Metcon Americana is dropping on Friday as well. Nike is putting a lot into the Metcon. You can grab those for $120. For you runners out there, Under Armour's newest tech comes to life in the Hover Phantom. Those will be available for both men and women, and I have to admit, they really do feel nice. Pricing on those is 130. For you runners with a bit more history under your belt, New Balance is bringing back the 990 in a slightly updated look and feel. Officially called the New Balance 990 V4, those will cost you a bit of change at $170 in either that faded rose or North Sea colorway. Okay, jumping to Saturday, things really ramp up with two pairs from Nike Basketball. First is the LeBron Soldier 12 in the white. Those will cost you 130 but if you prefer something more along the lines of a guard, the Kyrie 4 is dropping in dark gray for 120 Both are excellent on the court, and you can grab them both at finish line. If hype is what you're looking for this weekend, the dad trend takes a turn for the ladies with the release of the women's M2K Techno. The model fully embraces the dad shoe trend and flips the beloved Monarch to something a little more modern. Touched by John Elliott, these are probably going to be one of the harder releases to grab this weekend. Look for those to cost you $100. If you're looking to spend a little extra cash this weekend, we get a look at another hybrid version of the Nike Vapor Max, the Nike Vapor Max Innova. The Innova is a bit of a cult favorite among the more fashionable sneakerheads, and Nike is bringing them to the game in two colorways, Midnight Navy and Summit White. The cult favorite will cost you $240. And the shoe that I am most angry about dropping this weekend is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the Satin Shattered Backboard colorway. Why am I mad? Well, because they are a women's only release. On one hand, I'm glad the women are getting their own heat, but on the other hand, I definitely want a pair of these. Too bad they don't come in my size, though. You can look for those that cost the ladies $160 when they release on Saturday over at Finish Line. All right, so that's gonna do it for the show today. As always, I just wanted to cover the things that I thought you guys would definitely be interested in. Make sure you check the links down below for more information on all the sneakers that I mentioned in the video today. I am Jock Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.